I just want to jump into this really quickly. I'm not going to take too long here. I'm going to give you five of my top tips on how to become productive right away. Now, I've been at this affiliate marketing thing, entrepreneurship thing for a little over a year now after being laid off. And one of the things that I realized is uh, having some guidance is super duper important. So I wanted to make sure I can come out and really help you guys out so you can start getting your, your, your businesses together. I see Tammy just joined. Thank you, Tammy, for joining. Uh, Tammy's an awesome friend of mine as well. And I just want to jump into this right away so that you guys can get some really good value here. So let's get right into it. So um, first and foremost, before I actually start with the tips, let me just say this. Um, if you stay till the end of this video, I'm going to give you away, give away um, my ebook. It's, this is my first uh, ebook giveaway in a long time, but this ebook is going to contain 50 amazing tips on how to be productive. I'm just going to go over five today in this video, but my ebook is going to give you 50. All right, that's 10 times what I'm actually going to go over in this live video here. So if you want that, I'll give you an opportunity. I'll tell you exactly how to get that free ebook in just a little while. Will, thank you for joining. You're awesome, Will. Uh, if you guys want to, go ahead and share this video because I think a lot of us are struggling from productivity issues. Uh, I know a lot of these things that I'm going to be going over are things that I actually uh, was suffering from myself. So now... I kind of feel like I have a good handle on how to be a little bit more productive and I want to share those ideas with you and I want you to take notes. So make sure you have a pen and paper right now. Go ahead and grab one and make sure you share this video because there's a lot of people in our situation that could really use the guidance that I'm about to share right now. So let's get to it, guys. So the first one, and these are not going to be what you've heard other people say. Uh, uh, these have really been... Uh, ideas that I have sat down and really thought through, uh, the top ones that I think have really affected my life over the past uh, year and change. So let's get to it. So the number one, go ahead and write this down, guys, is find out and capitalize on the times that you are most productive. Now, I will say this, that does not mean that you're finding out the times that you think that you're going to be most productive. It's the times that you are far more productive than other times. Every single person knows what those times are in their day to day. And you want to make sure that you're scheduling the most important tasks or the, the crucial tasks around the times that you are the most productive. The times that you are unproductive. So, for example, if you know you're not very productive in business at 4 a.m., those are the times that you want to schedule maybe going to the gym, uh, doing things, engaging in activities that uh, require very little thought so that uh, the hard stuff can be put during times that you can really focus and not get caught. So I I'm, I'm and this is I'm going to give you a little personal story. So, uh, you know, I, I, I used to always say, hey, you know, I'm going to start getting up at this time, not realizing that I was setting myself up for failure. Hey, what's up, Shell? Thank you for joining. Um, and when you want to be really careful, OK, super careful on setting on setting expectations that are unreasonable or can't be met. Uh, each and every single one of us have uh, uh, times of day that actually work better for us. You want to make sure that you break that down. Tip number two, you want to make sure that you prevent possible interruptions. OK, so this was another huge one for me as I started with my affiliate marketing I was getting a lot of, uh, you know, people contacting me through instant messenger. You, when getting a lot of messages through instant messenger, one of the biggest things uh, that can get you caught up is constant messaging throughout your day. Uh, what you need to do is understand that your day uh, needs to be mapped out and outlined. There should be only set times during the day that you will that you should be answering messages in your instant messenger. There should be only certain times during the day that you are on social media. If you are spending your entire day on social media, you can you're going to get distracted. So in order to state to, to get a deep focus and concentration, what you're going to need to do is prevent this interruption. Some of the things that you're going to need to do is literally not be in the same room as your phone. What that means is if it's time to make phone calls, OK? You do not need to make the phone calls from your cell phone. 
having your cell phone there is going to distract you. you something is going to happen on that cell phone. You're going to get a message, a notification. Something is going to happen that's going to interrupt you. So what you want to do is make sure that you're make, if it's time to make phone calls, you want to make phone calls and you want there to be nothing else around you except the phone. When it's time to do uh, design, let's say you're in web design uh, and you're building that website, you want to make sure that you are completely away from all distraction. Don't have Facebook up. Don't have Instagram up. Um, don't think that even a moment's time is going to be uh, uh, is not going to hurt you. Um, the one of the most difficult things in business is creating a momentum or flow. And what you want to do is you want to get into the habit of creating momentums throughout your days and throughout the processes that you're learning. Hey, what's up, Melissa? Thank you for joining. Don't forget to share, guys, because this is really key information, stuff that I personally went through that's going to really assist you here. Here we go. Number three. This is something that I think a lot of my entrepreneurs under me were not doing, uh, and I didn't make it really key on this being a really, really big part of what you do. Um, you want to make sure that you're planning. And what does that look like? So you want to take the first 30 minutes of your day. And I said the first 30 minutes of your day to just plan your day out by making a list of important things that you know you have to do today. And then you want to make sure that you stay super hyper focused on those things. Now, you may need to skip. So you might need to put a really, um, um, you know, something, you know, a little bit challenging uh on, on in one area in one part of your list but what i will tell you is this don't do what other people are doing hey what's up megan thank you for joining don't do what other people are doing other people they they, they make their schedule they make it so difficult for themselves i'm here to tell you schedule the most fun thing first you heard it right that's another part of my that's another tip but i i just couldn't let that one go Schedule in planning, make sure you're scheduling the fun things first. That way, the, it, it eliminates the procrastination. You're going to be excited to want to do what it is that the first thing on your list. So once you get that done, it's going to be a lot easier to start creating that momentum that we talked about. Number four, this one is going to trick a lot of you guys. Hey, what's up, Michael? Thank you for joining. Make sure you guys share this video. This is super, super key valuable information here that will help you and will uh, greatly help you be productive as soon as you start to implement these things. Number four, this one is going to get you guys stumped here. Work less to get more done. I'm going to say that again. Work less to get more done. You guys are saying, how is that possible? If you're working less, you're going to get less done. No. A lot of us, we think that just because we're spending, you know, 80 hours in front of our computer that we're getting things done. What you need to do is you need to set a time limit on your work sessions. No more. I mean, actually, it should be between 60 to 120 minutes and no more. So that way you reduce the risk of you getting burned out and then getting uh, having just just being frustrated over having spent so much time and getting very little done. You want to make sure you, you follow that benchmark 60 to 120 minutes at a time. So do not sit at your computer for more than that time. You're going to find that you're going to get a whole lot more done. So schedule yourself in your day to be in front of your computer to do certain things during certain hours and certain periods so that you will, you will risk getting the feeling of being burnt out and overwhelmed. And also make sure that you're keeping track of your actual output. OK, it's hard enough trying to, um, you know, worry about how much time you're spending. Make sure that the time that you're spending on your on your tasks is quality in order to get the quality. You have to reduce the quantity. I hope that makes sense for you guys, because that is one of the biggest things that I think helped me. I was spending hours and hours and hours and hours and hours doing one thing, and it was taking me away from a lot of the other things that I needed to be doing. So you want to make sure that you're spending quality time doing the things that are important in your business, and that's going to make a lot of uh, changes for you. And last but not least, step number five, 
And if you guys are appreciating this, I hope you guys are. If you guys are appreciating this, go ahead and throw some likes up for me and share this video because we're actually on number five. Search for tools that help to increase your productivity. Now, I'm going to tell you that, that this one actually was one of the first things that actually came into my life. Okay, so when I first started coming into affiliate marketing, I knew it was going to be difficult. But fortunately for me, I got plugged into one of the most amazing tools in online marketing that's helped me and really helped to drive things home for me in streamlining and saving a lot of time. OK, now I will say there is a variety of tools and I'm not on this live to sell you one tool over the other. However, what I will tell you is there are many tools that will help increase your productivity. Um, one such such example is the tool that I'm using Builderall. Um, it is an online digital marketing platform that can do damn near anything you need it to do for you online. And I've been using it to help me help customers help myself. And it's been a really good journey. So if you are in that situation where you are looking for tools to help you become more productive, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to help you and to show you what's out there in the marketplace. And last but not least, I said number five, but I wanted to give you guys a quick bonus one. Okay. Because this is one of those things that, you know, I got my people on the call right here. I got Rory, I got Will, I got Julia, I got Will, I got Shell. I got a bunch of people who've been supporting me. And that has been a major secret to me. So that's bonus tip number six, being around the right people, okay? Experience has shown that when you surround yourself around smart people who have similar work styles as you and who really want to encourage and motivate you to be the best, to be the most productive that you can, you're going to increase tenfold. So if that, if there's anything that you get from this live video, please get, take that with you. Start putting yourself around the right people and those people that are going to encourage you are going to help propel you in the right direction. I want to thank you guys. I love you guys so much um, that I actually put together an, a free ebook that I'm going to be giving out to you um, as uh, uh, as a for the fact of you watching this live. So I'm gonna put it in the comments below. It's gonna be a link. Um, just give me a moment. If you want that ebook, go ahead and put um, free ebook in the comments below. And I'm gonna make sure that I get you that free ebook because I've got 50 tips that I think you're gonna really love. So I wanna thank you guys so much. Please come back tomorrow. Tomorrow's live is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna be going over some really amazing uh, tips that's going to really help you improve your productivity, improve your self-awareness, improve your uh, your just your all around well-being. I love you. I appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. And I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. Peace.